Michael woke in a panic. It was completely dark. He was shivering. He could hear the waves crashing below. Tone, mood, atmosphere. All these things are vital to maintaining the reader's interest. If we were to imagine the plot structure as the story's framework and the characters as moving about the framework, then tone, mood and setting will provide us with the substance, colour and look of the narrative. Panic, dark, shivering, crashing. The serious tones of these words create an unsettling or ominous mood. Mood is sometimes referred to as the atmosphere. It is the dominant feeling of the story and provides the reader with an idea of what's to come. It might be surprising to hear that setting is one of the more controversial elements of a narrative. Why? The place or time a story is set in might be incidental to the drama that takes place. But consider the following. Michael jumped terrified from his bed and yelled down the hall for a servant to make him some supper. He went and told his mother about the nightmare and she promised to buy him a new toy horse in the morning. Every setting comes with its own context. So too does every reader. Michael's affluence and social class would be interpreted differently by readers with different backgrounds and beliefs. Here's Michael's reaction in a changed setting. Michael opened the hut door and screamed into the cold air for the forest gods to save him. He quickly jumped onto his horse and rode as far away from his nightmare as possible. A reader's religious, political or cultural beliefs interact with that of the narrative setting. It is impossible to avoid. Countless books over the years have been banned or censored due to representation of gender, race, government or religion. The real challenge for the reader is to understand the settings and representations rather than to judge it. The values and representations contained in a text usually reflect the socio-cultural context in which the text was composed. Likewise, readers from different places or different times in histories, because of their different cultural beliefs, might interpret a text differently. For example, readers from the 21st century would interpret a text composed in the 19th century differently 